is the 2019 Level 3 Waves exam, uh, question 2. Uh, just a side note, if you just watched the question 1 video, I missed out saying that the uh, why increasing the tension of the string makes it disappear. Um, it's because when you increase the tension, it increases the velocity, which increases the frequency, which I've like, roughly alluded to here, but anyway, right. Uh, Sam and Michael, a miracle of play experimenting with a 0.446 length of pipe that is open at both ends. So we'll just turn my pen on and sort of circle that. Um, there we go. When the wind blows across the pipe, Simon Miracle here, uh, Sam and Miracle here, a sound. They assume that the sound is made by the air inside the pipe, resonating at the fundamental frequency. So um, this is what's called Helmholtz resonance. Um, it's what happens when you have like air going across um, some I don't know closed pipe or open pipe or whatever. Um, you get turbulence or eddy currents, and then you get uh, resonance. Anyway, so show the the frequency of the sound is 700 and 379 hertz. Um, it's a fundamental frequency, so we have an uh, open at both ends. So it's an open open. So you're going to have a node in the middle, and you're going to have uh, open there. There's going to be an antinode at the end, and then to there, an antinode at the end, and there'll be a node in the middle. Um, and the rule is, if you've got an open pipe. Um, there's an antinode here, and then in the middle there'd be a node, and then an antinode. Otherwise, if it was just antinode and antinode, you'd have nothing really. Um, so this we have from node to antinode is quarter of a wave plus another quarter of a wave. So we can say the length is equal to quarter plus a quarter is a half a wave. So length is equal to half a wave. In other words, wavelength is equal to two times the length because that's times both sides by two. Um, and we know that the length is 0 0.446, so that is equal to 0 0.446 times 2. Um, and then I'll just quickly chuck that on my calculator to find the wavelength. Um, 0 0.446 times 2, 0 0.892, 0 0.892 meters. And now wave equation V equals F lambda. In other words, the frequency is equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength, and that's going to be speed of sound in air, 338. 338 divided by 0 0.892, and that'll equal uh, 338 divided by shift answer, 378.9. 378. Point nine hertz, and then we can just chuck under here. F is equal to three seven nine hertz. Um, for this sort of question, um, you need to have the formula, and then you need to have the substitution into the formula, um, and then you need to have the formula down here. So you need to have this formula substitution answer, this formula substitution answer, and this is kind of a bit tricky for just an equi achieved question. I feel like. Previous years I've had way easier. You've, like previous years have just been literally just draw this and you get the achieved. Um, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's kind of tricky. Um, anyway, Sam places his hand over the end of the pipe and the frequency of sound coming out of the pipe changes. Describe and explain any changes in the frequency of the pipe. Use di uh, Draw diagrams to support your answer. So we'll do the... Um, so this is going to be fundamental. Fundamental, and this is going to be fundamental. Fundamental. Otherwise, we'll be comparing apples with oranges. Oranges. So we have a node in the centre, just like I've drawn up there. Go out to the top. There's our first antinode. That should be to there, and then I'll draw a dotted line to there. Damn it! This should have been a dotted line. That should be a dotted line. Um, and then this should be, uh, make that a straight line, and this should be a dotted line. Because you kind of want to show that it's like that two different things. I could have just done like a straight line, but yeah, you mean to sort of show the, uh, show the wave to show that it's sort of oscillating, trying to use that cartoony effect. Here we have a node at this end, and we've got an antinode at this end. So antinode, node, because this is a fixed point. And that is uh, the smallest building block you can have for a wave, a node and an antinode. 
And if I try and make that not too straight, I'm like super messy, but whatever. Um, so here we have a node, an antinode, and an antinode. Um, and so we'll say open, because this is the open, open pipe. Uh, the length is equal to half a wave. Half a wave. Um, closed is equal to, uh, closed dot dot, the length is equal to, so this, from a node to an antinode, is only quarter of a wave, because from here to here, you need, how many would you need? I'll do it up, I'll do a full wave up here, so you actually know what a full wave is. Here's two fixed ends, so we're gonna go, oh, uh, dear. That is a very wonky wave. Oops, damn it, I'm gonna scribble this out, that's so wonky. Um, I'll draw a wave first, and then I'll put the things in. There we go, and then this is meant to be the center, and then you go that. That's also very wonky. Man, I suck at drawing. Um, so you're meant to have from the top all the way up, down, and then all the way back to start again. Um, that's a full wave, so we can break it up into quarters. Um, quarter wave would be from like the center all up to max. So this, we can say the length fits in quarter of a wave. Hey, we get there. In other words, um, for open, open, uh, lambda is equal to, oh, times both sides by two, two L, and closed, um, lambda is equal to four L, because times both sides by four, four L. There we go. Um, Right, so maybe I'll just pause it and write the rest so it saves a bit of time. Right, so I've just gone and said, as the velocity is constant for a closed pipe, you need to say the velocity is constant because it is for any sort of instrument, and as long as nothing else changes. Um, its wavelength is four times the length of the, four times the length, oh, maybe I'll say, of the pipe, of the pipe, should I put that in there? Or twice the open wavelength. So I'll just, this is the open, this is the closed, um, I mean, surely this is obvious, I'll call this open. This is closed, just for brevity. Um, <clears throat> twice open wavelength, there should be a full stop here. As V equals F lambda, so the wave equation, velocity equals frequency times wavelength. If the pipe is now closed, it'll have half the frequency, because um, the wavelength is doubled, um, of the original, and that's the open open pipe, that one there. So the F closed, the frequency of the closed pipe, this one here, will be 189.5. Um, there we go, right. What have we got? Sam moves his hand so the pipe is now open at both ends again. Strong gust of wind blows across the top pipe and causes a much higher pitch sound to be produced. Miracle uses an app um, of on a phone to determine that. The sound is uh, 1,138 hertz. Oh, she probably used Firefox, possibly. Firefox is a great app if you're trying to do physics for high school. Um, draw the new standing wave formed in the pipe. So we need to figure out what high mark that is. So we're gonna go 1,138 divided by the fundamental, which is 379, because um, harmonics are just multiples of the fundamental. So the fifth harmonic is just five times the fundamental, um, and that is gonna be equal to 1138 divided by uh, 378.9, uh, essentially three. So this is third harmonic. Harmonic. There we go. So it's three times the fundamental, which means, uh, shift this to the side. The first harmonic has a node in the center. The second, I'll just draw it. So this, the first harmonic is literally right here. The second harmonic, I'll just chuck up here so you guys can see it, um, and so I can sort of concentrate. So we have two nodes, join in the middle, and then uh, half and half and half, and then the third harmonic will have three nodes. Um, so there will be, uh, quite close to the end, further apart, there's one, two, three nodes, um, ugh, I haven't really done it, yeah, close enough, it'll be messy as hell, but whatever, I'm gonna do this on the side, because it's so much easier for me, so if I go there, up, down, 
uh, oh, and then I'll try and go there, up, crossing, oh, close enough, I mean, I'm not the best artist to do here, I'm definitely not an art teacher as you can tell. So we've got an amp, antinode at the end, then it goes node, then antinode, then node, then antinode, then node, and antinode. And that is the third harmonic because this is the second harmonic, so he's chucking an extra node. So we have one, two, three nodes. Um, and you can sort of suppose see what first harmonic has one node, second harmonic has two nodes, third has three nodes. Sweet as. Right. Sam has an idea that if he holds a pipe while riding his bike really fast, he can create the same frequency in the pipe that the gusts of wind has produced. Holding the pipe, Sam rides away at 12 meters, 12.2 meters per second. Sam hears a pipe resonate at a frequency of 138. But Miracle measures a different frequency. Calculate the frequency Miracle measure and explain why the two frequencies are not the same. So this is Doppler effect. Um, so F dash is equal to the actual frequency times the velocity of the wave divided by velocity of the wave. Normally it's plus or minus the wave source. But what we know is if he's, he's riding away. So if he's riding away, you probably heard an ambulance go past at some point in your life or some sort of car. If it goes away, the frequency drops. So what do we do on the denominator to make this number smaller than that number? The denominator needs to be bigger than the numerator. So it means plus velocity of the wave source. Um, and that is gonna be equal to 1138 times, what is it, 383, 338, 338 um, divided by 338 plus 12.2, and that'll give us our new fixed, uh, what do you call it, shifted frequency. Um, and I'll just do that now. And we get 1098.3 hertz, so 1098.35 hertz. Um, and explain why the two frequencies are not the same. Um, so, I might just pause, write it out, and then explain. Right, so I've said, as Sam rides away from Miracle, each emitted wavefront is further than the previous wavefront when, than when stationary. I haven't done a very good explanation for this. I've done better ones in previous videos. Maybe 2018, uh, what is it? Question two, I think. 2C um, It's probably the best explanation. Um, yeah, probably could use better words for that. Anyway, this causes an observed lengthening of the wavelength. That is what you need to say for Miracle, because it's from Miracle's perspective. Thus, observed decrease in frequency, um, because that's calculate the frequency and explain why the two frequencies are not the same, because the wavelength increases, um, because each wavefront is emitted further than the previous wavefront. Um, it's not really correctly worded, but whatever. Um, as velocity is constant. You need to say velocity is constant. Sam will hear the original frequency, 1138, as he is not moving relative to the sound source. I just chuck that in because, you know, it's kind of nice to have in there. Um, yeah, so each, when you're like moving along, um, if you're moving, like if you're an observer here and the sound source is moving away, behind the sound source, as you're moving, um, you're covering more distance, um, like one way. So when you emit a wavefront, you move away from that wavefront, so it gives it a lengthening, apparent lengthening of the wave of the wavefront. It is kind of actually a lengthening of the wavefront, um, but it's an entirely observer sort of measured thing. Um, like it is, the waves do actually get further apart, um, but yeah, I'll just leave it at that.